This conference will now be recorded. We are going to learn about rule set. I we already know about it. Production rule set. Production rule set. This is one thing. Plus rule delegation. This is an extra topic, another topic. And once these two are completed, we will be learning about like a, what is that? Skimming concept and deployments concept and all. Okay, skimming. So skimming, I can take it later, but uh, okay, because that will create a new version. Anyhow, no problem. We thought of creating version four. Now, first thing is, if you go to application rule form, you will see the rule set. Rule sets are being referred from which which place? Application or not? Rule sets are being referred from application. These are all called as application rule sets. These are called as application rule sets. Let me just wait on this because I have to go with 8.6 login page. I log into our application. Server is coming up. There is some error, but still no problem. Okay, what is that? Dev IMPL at the rate? CNA. CNA.com. I will log into our application and I'll show you the application rule form where you find uh, this rule sets. Those are application rule sets. Apart from application rule sets, we have one more rule set called production rule set. What is that? Production rule set. First, I will tell you how to create a rule set, how to add it or call it in the production rule set place. And then I will explain you about the purpose. But let me show you first of all, where would you be referring the rule sets other than the section of application rule sets? Other than the section application rule sets, you will be also refer referring rule sets in the application rule form at production rule sets section. That is, see here, scroll down, advanced. In the advanced, here you see production rule set, customization. Remember this term customization. I will explain you this. Anything, whether you create call a rule set here or whether you call a rule set there, both are rule sets ultimately. If you are referring a rule set in, in the section of application rule set, that is called as application rule set. If you are referring a rule set in the section of production rule set, then that is referred as production rule set. That's it. Ultimately, both are rule sets which will contain rules and everything. So I'll show you how to create a rule set now. Okay. So let's see. You don't need to write anything. I'm recording first doing a document, working with rule sets, creating rule set, comma, production rule set. Uh, 591. 591. Okay, 591. Now, how to create a new rule set and call it in the application rule form at production rule sets okay so in order to create a rule set open the existing rule set see you may take implementation rule set or you may take organization level rule set anything is okay if you take organization level rule set it is very easy that every rule that you create there will be accessible to the below levels usually but that's okay save as do what save as So this is, uh, let's say, CNA prod rule set. I'm taking like this, the name, CNA prod rule set, and remaining things, version one, everything is same. Create and open. See, in your lifetime, you may not be getting chance to create a rule set, mostly, okay? And uh, save this. By default, system will create version one. 
by default system will create version one for you you may add more versions i am not locking this version even i did not create any rules but i will create now go to application rule form so where is the application rule form this is the where this is the application rule form. scroll down this is how you'll see when you scroll down expand advanced so i did not teach this practically so far in any batch this is the first batch i am teaching i did not create rule set so far what is the rule set name cna prod now this rule set is been referred as production i'm sorry this rule set is been referred as production rule set the most important term that we need to remember here what is the version of this rule set specification must be included in the major or minor i'm sorry i should do this right 010 i'll explain you what is this 0101 why only two numbers also i'll explain okay why not three numbers at the time of skimming i'll tell you okay completed i created a rule set i call the rule set in the application rule sets place i'm sorry in the production rule sets place in the application rule form now you may create any rule usually while creating a rule you will be getting the rule set to be chosen right right click on this create data model property like this any rule if you are creating so choose implementation application implementation class and here you will be getting the rule sets so i can go ahead and create my particular rules in production rule set also that is possible okay usually it should come in the drop down that's why i'm checking why it is not coming somewhere am i missing anything production rule set is not being shown up what is the reason i take an implementation application rule set right prod rule set i called it save this one cna prod okay i'll check it that's not a big deal i'll just verify and tell you see you create a rule set and you call the rule set in the application rule form at the section of production rule set that is referred as production rule set for customization for customization what is the customization what is the meaning of customization in general customization means modify correct you modify but where would you modify what is the rule set production rule set production rule set customization means modification is required to be done directly in the production server directly in the production server but before i go to tell you how to make it possible to modify the rules directly in the production server i will explain you about in general how the deployment process works high level see whenever you create rules in development environment and whenever you wanted to move all these rules from development environment to any other server including live server before you move the rules you have to package the rules into one zip file you have to generate a package of a called zip file in the zip file all the ddls related to rules will be there but before you move the rules from one server to another server you need to make sure that you are going to lock all the rule set versions all the versions that are involved in the packaging part you have to lock it all the rule sets and the respect to versions of those rules. i am moving the rules from version 1 to version 3 all the versions i have to lock it finally ultimately after locking only you will move it so once the production deployment is completed next release for next release you will create a new version for with unlocking and then save as the rules from old to new or create the new rules in the new version and proceed you are locking the versions now let's go to rules at version locking class that we have what we have discussed let's try to recollect in the discussion of rules at version locking session i said like if you are going to lock a rule set version 
you cannot create new rules in that version you cannot modify the rules of that version within the version and you cannot delete the rules in that version correct now imagine i have version 3 which is locked it has 10 rules all 10 rules version 3 everything moved to another server locked in live server there is no way you you log in and unlock it it will be there running only running purpose only is there a possibility that I can modify the rules whichever I want in the live server? Is there any possibility? After I lock all the versions in development, I move to production by locking it. In the production, is there a way that you can change, modify the definition of the rule, anything? It is not possible. Everyone clear up to this? It is not possible. Now, let's talk about the business need. See, for a real business, sometimes it is necessary that they wanted to modify the definition of some of the rules as per the business processing. I'll tell you an example. Okay, the example is, uh, for example, I have a decision table. Where is the decision table? I have a decision table. This is the decision table. And in this decision table, I have some data. This is the data that is there. See, this is a test data only for a development environment in order for to work on this. I am just created this decision table. This particular written values are dummy. Original values will be there in live. Understand? Now, I'm going to move this decision table from development to live. Decision table is a rule instance or data instance. You see here, it is a rule instance. Means if I lock a rule set version, it cannot be checked out, it cannot be modified, it cannot be deleted. When I move to live server, this decision table, when called, it will return the values that are there. But I don't want these values. Business wanted to change these values. This is one example. I'll tell you another example. Let, imagine there is a data table. Table is there. Data type. I mean data type. Uh, hold on. Uh, some data type. There is some data type. Imagine the data type has a discount rates. So and so customer, so and so discount rate like that. You move this data type from development to life. After you move it, business wanted to modify the data in data type. Remember one thing business users, they wanted to modify it by themselves. They don't want to get back to developer. I'll tell you the reasons in a few minutes. See, a decision table. They wanted to modify the details here, not only once, multiple times they want to modify. Imagine if it is not the same data, some other data. So today they want to modify the data here in the decision table. Day after tomorrow, they want to modify. Day after two, day after tomorrow, again, they wanted to modify. Like this, frequently they wanted to modify the content in the rule. See, usually what is the process? Anytime if you want to make changes to a rule, Save as the rule into latest version. Latest version, once it is done, you, you need to go with deployment process. But once in every two days, is it possible to go with deployment process? Is it possible? It is not possible. I told you, right, deployment process itself will take a lot of time. Appro uh, so many approvals we need, so much of backout plan, so many things are there. So business do not want to disturb the developers or they do not want it to go ahead with the deployment process again and again once in two days they wanted to do it by themselves which will not impact the actual overall business processing and all. just a data data is there it will be retrieved and it will be done accordingly for this reason we wanted to make these rules available for modification for the business itself so that can be achieved by the process of delegation that is can be that can be achieved by the process of Delegation. Okay, you delegate the rule. Rule will be available for the modification for the business. Okay, but what if I delegate a rule which is there in the um, which is there in the application rule sets where application rule sets are being locked and moved? I have locked the rule set version. I moved a rule. Even though I delegated the rule, will they be able to modify it? I have delegated a rule which is there in locked version. Anyone will be able to modify it? They will not be able to modify if it is there in locked version. See, in order for a rule to be modified, the respective version should not be locked. In order for a rules, rule to be modified, 
respect to version should not be locked if version is locked rule cannot be checked out and modified understand so i need in the live server also in the live server i want some rule set versions which are unlocked which are which are ready to be customized which contain the rules which are ready to be customized for this need to fulfill pega has come up with a rule set called production rule set customizable customization meaning that the rule sets which you add under this section will be left unlocked will be left unlocked at the time of moving this versions if you move it unlocked by leaving it unlocked if you move the version from uh, versions from development to production they will be able to open the rules and modify and unlock it but you are not providing dev studio to them you don't provide dev studio to business business will have their portals like manager portal case worker portal and all that means from this portal itself they should be able to access the rule for this reason you are using rule delegation delegation will make the rule accessible from manager portal user portal like that understand i will show you how it will be accessible so as of now i am going to deal with directly application only see based on the section where you refer the rule set it will be referred as either application rule set or production rule set but overall a rule set is a rule set okay let me try once by log off and login back did i save it or not save and then log off and i am going to log in back what is it devimpl@cna.com so let me summarize and repeat once again there is a business need the need is business wanted to modify the rules and its details directly in the live server production server okay for this reason we never give the business access to developer studio we never give it and we never unlock the rule set versions when we move the rule sets from rule sets and rules from one server to another server but if you are not going to unlock you will not be able to modify if you are not allowing to developer studio you have to provide some alternate studio alternate accessibility for the only specific rules why i will not allow them into developer studio if i allow them into developer studio they have access to so many rules but only the rules which they wanted to modify i will place the rules shortcut link somewhere else okay i want they want to modify five rules those five rules links shortcut links i will place somewhere else is that sufficient or not that will be very much sufficient correct so considering this fact i will be making sure that this type of rules which business wants to modify by themselves i will be placing those rules in the why i am not getting it should come but i'll see so i'll be creating those rules usually in the production rule set for our requirement to implement it is not possible now to choose i don't want to research on this now i want to finish the session by creating the rule in the uh, normal uh, this one only normal application rule set whether it is a production rule set or application rule set rule set is rule set why they are segregating it the reason for segregation is to better understand which rule to be created where see any rules that business wants to modify you will place those those rules created in the production rule set created in the production rule set usually okay but for our practical uh, requirement i am going to create in the implementation rule set itself but for that i am not even going to create a new rule i will take the existing rule itself decision table is there it is there in implementation rule set version 2 version 2 is unlocked or not see here unlocked so that means if it is unlocked in the reality being it as a production rule set will they be able to modify or not but i am not giving them access to dev studio for your information then how do they access it i will give this rule shortcut somewhere else now for that you need to go with rule delegation concept okay so i created an production rule set just to show you how to create a rule set i did it now how to delegate a role to managers access group while you are going to delegate a role you can delegate the role to individual or to an access group entirely so now let's delegate 
a decision table but before that let me write down a note not row note role delegation is a process of making the roles accessible from manager user or other portals other than dev studio means shortcut of this rule you will be giving shortcut link they will be accessing from there itself and when rule is delegated this row this delegated rule to be placed inside unlocked rule set versions in the live okay live server that is another point so when rule is delegated this gets created as an instance as an instance of class system user my rules what is that system user my rules means in the related table there will be an entry of this rule that is where that is what shortcut place shortcut place is that one so i will show you practically i will show you okay and now you are going to delegate let's delegate a decision table and one more thing delegated rules will be accessible in the portals under configuration section in the left part i will show you see here before we proceed before we proceed look at here if i go to manager portal if i launch manager portal you see dashboard my work create pulse all this do you have anything like configuration at least one delegated rule is there then you will see configuration section which i will show you now practically let's you take any decision table or you take any data type that's up to you i have taken a decision table you take a data type no issues okay now click on actions let me click on actions and here you go there is an option called delegate and then delegate so once i choose delegate it is going to ask me hey you want to delegate it to which access group i want to go with manager access and delegated rule label what you want this is decision table what is it insurance type ah huh? okay my delegated rule only just for our better understanding okay delegate okay and now after this you go to manager portal just hold on i did not check out this what is that save and then you check in back so let us see the system my user my my system user my rules let's see that 
you go to system user my rules and the instance of you see here cn auto manages not there it is there we can see delegated delegated okay now uh, go to manager portal by login with not here actually by login with manager and let me take this copy paste what is that i have to use cna mngr one see the manager portal which i have shown previously that is same as the existing manager portal but now we should additionally see what configuration tab did you get the configuration tab previously see at least one delegated rule is there then configuration tab will be visible there is a visibility condition this particular access group has at least one delegated rule then only it will be now you see this decision table here or not see this here hello my my delegated rule and all click on edit so let me click on edit once you click on edit is this the rule that we are discussing about you need to give the business an information that they have to check out they have to make changes and they have to save back and finally they should check in back giving the comments of what they have modified okay now this rule is going to be accessible in the live server where you are giving access access to the rule to modify it the same way i can also delegate other rules you see here just for your information and data type let's say i want the business to add some countries whenever they want without logging into prvc environment so this is a record tab functions and then delegate delegate to again i want to delegate to manager access group only and this is what is the table countries are huh? countries delegated and some information here you write and then delegated this is a this is a data instance there is no check in check out anyhow anyhow i don't want to allow business to give administrator access i mean like dev studio now they log in with manager id and when they go to manager id configuration tab they are countries delegated they will edit the table here itself so they will add the records or delete the records or modify the records by themselves that is up to them okay everyone clear that's it done or they will delete some of the countries which are been dropped off their business center everyone clear so this is how delegation is usually it may be required in the real business but what are the rules that you can delegate not every other rule you don't delegate suppose if i have delegated activity can business do anything with activity will they be able to understand first of all business can understand decision table decision tree also they can understand they can understand data type yes will they be able to understand declare on change will they be able to understand declare expressions and all usually will they be able to understand activities most of the many rules they can't understand okay you go and delegate a class will they be able to understand concrete class versions all this so very few like suppose for example i have a correspondence rule content is there in the development that content is different in life will they be able to understand correspondence rule and modify the details yes or no will they be able to understand correspondence rule content or not we just a text right correspondence rule you can delegate decision table you can delegate decision uh, data types you delegate decision tree you delegate no problem if i delegate data transform will they be able to understand if i delegate data page will they be able to understand inside rules report definitions all this they cannot understand so if you go to activity for example i'll show you activity where is it technical activity and this is activity and go to actions do you have that option of delegate here option itself is not there what are the rules you delegate any rule which shows delegation option you can delegate you cannot name all the rules but mainly in the reality sla rule if i delegate will they be able to understand or not sla urgency is goal time deadline time and all 
escalations we have to do it properly they cannot understand but the details related to time intervals urgencies they want to modify see they wanted to give the goal time at two days two days after escalation should happen if you do the development with two days will you be able to test it escalation you want to test for two days development if you want to test it how many days you have to wait two days so you never do it you do it like one minute two minutes you move the same to live will they adjust with one minute two minute they want to change it to two days so what you should do now you should have to delegate the rule understand everyone clear so like this rule delegation is very much essential in some of the rules like correspondence rules sla rules decision table decision tree what is the other one data type mainly these are the rules which we come across delegation understand a delegated rule is an instance of which class system user my rules understand everyone clear so this is what about rule delegation and its purpose what is the next topic that i just mentioned skimming huh? skimming let's talk about skimming see general meaning of skimming what is the general meaning of skimming skimming ante enti even i don't know andike memmal adiga skimming ante what is the general meaning of skimming in just in real world skimming ante enti is it that you call it as mixing mixing ala mara em antaru skimming ante enti hmm जस्टिंगीन skim the you are skimming milk means you are mixing it or not you are going to put ice cream skim it correct what are you doing now you are just mixing and get getting something out of it a new one maybe a mixture of new one right that is what i told and you are skimming that ice your cream milk and everything you do skimming correct and now let me tell you see suppose <coughs> i have version 1 to version 10 see i have a release in next to two months for this two months multiple teams have developed so many rules in different different versions version 1 copied into version 2 copied into 3 somewhere here and there some of the rules copied and some of the rules not copied and all in between you don't need some rules and you have dropped up the rules and all i mean like not available like that you have dropped up 10 versions are there i want to move all the rules in 10 versions from my development to qa or uat or like this business is saying it don't move all version 1 2 3 we don't want to see all this in uh, uh like production we want only version 1 to 10 together into one rule set you copy copy all the rules from version 1 to till version 10 into one single rule set version and give us a whole mix everything and put it in one place and give us the whole that is fair enough right that will be the 11th version in general i am saying i am not using major minor and all i'll use it understand everyone skimming is the concept where you are going to mix up all the rules which are there in multiple versions into next higher version now when i say higher version minor version can be higher major version can be higher correct patch version doesn't make any sense actually okay see skimming is copying the rules from all lower versions i mean like multiple lower versions into the next higher version do you have a document for the same i'll sh- hold on theory documents where is it i got classes skimming somewhere you see this one i'll explain you in detail now look at here 
see you are going to copy the lower version rules together multiple rules into next higher version i'll ask you one question think about think about this with your just a basic sense of having knowledge on pega i have two versions version 1 version 2 i'm mixing both all the rules in version 1 2 into version 3 i'm doing it in version 1 i have customer details form which is copied into version 2 and make changes ultimately which one will be printed on time version 2 only correct that is the reason i have created version 2 now i am skimming version 1 all the rules version 2 all the rules putting together into version 3 correct now at the time of skimming do i need to retrieve the both rules of version 1 2 into 3 or only 2 if i get it into 3 that is fair enough see version 1 rule you take version 2 rule you take both you place in version 3 or only version 2 rule you take it and place in version 3 it should be fair enough yes or yes. no i don't need yes. one why when i am skimming now i'm skimming ultimately which one should be picked at run time version 3 version 2 2 only i'll take and put it one i will ignore in the skimming process understand this is this is okay right this is how skimming works okay whenever you are going to skim the rules from lower versions to next higher version duplicate rules will get eliminated from the lower versions are you clear this is one thing if it is eliminated will there be any issue duplicate rules from lower versions are eliminated i mean like filtered out any issue no issue my application will function as it is whatever i am expecting next to point imagine version 1 2 3 are there three versions customer details section is there in 1 2 3 both three versions i want to skim now obviously three i will take three i have made it not available three i have made it not available what with what sense i will make it not available i wanted to pick the previous version correct i don't want 3 i cannot delete it but i will make it not available it will pick the version 2 or not in that case if it is picking version 2 at the time of skimming should i consider to move version 3 should i consider to move version 3 into latest skimmed version can i filter out version 3 which is not not available yes or no can i filter out that or not you understand the point online resources oh the document lo ticket gurinchi kodu madhyalo ticket endu vachindi okay i'll just check it once you understand the point version 1 2 3 are there okay bona the pote order version 1 2 3 are there see 1 2 3 all three versions customer details form is there okay and business told that version 3 we don't want we want version 2 only to be picked usually what would you be doing you are going to make version 3 as not available now i am skimming i made it not available i am skimming i skim it version 1 2 3 do i need to move version 3 also version 2 alone if i move no. duplicate rules i am eliminating but higher version is not available right means you are picking previous version you move only previous version eliminate version 1 eliminate not available also filter it out is that okay or not so that's how skimming works skimming doesn't mean only simply fixing up all the rules of lower versions and making it available in higher version at the time of skimming the rules which are duplicate will get eliminated and the rules which are not available usually will get eliminated and what about withdrawn rule if i eliminate is that okay see imagine i have version 1 2 3 3 3 is withdrawn at the time of skimming if i am going to filter the rule withdrawn is that going to function as per my business need or not withdrawn rule so why do you withdraw first you need to know about it right what is the necessity of withdrawing the rule when would you withdraw or withdraw a rule you will be you, you are going to withdraw a rule considering that i do not want any rules from this class to be picked i want the rules to be picked from parent class with that sense you will withdraw correct now if i am going to filter out a withdrawn rule will that be okay not available withdraw you it is okay no problem 
if i am going to suppose version 1 2 3 3 is withdrawn parent class of same rule is there parent class rules are picking now i am skimming everything when i am skimming withdrawn rule i have removed filtered out remaining version 2 is the highest right i picked it and moved it now is this going to function as it is how it was functioning before no before it was functioning like picking from the parent class now it will function like picking from the current class of version 2 which is wrong so withdrawn rules should not be filled out at the time of skimming withdrawn rules will be carry forwarded another point i'll tell you see your rule resolution rule availability is connected to skimming topic understand that is how you need to learn pega skimming doesn't mean simply you say you mix up everything and put it in a new version that is okay you are reading a definition and you are explaining but if i ask you a scenario based then you will get caught with your subject knowledge right what is the one more availability rule availability blocked what is meant by block why would i block a rule i block a rule in order for this rule never been picked up correct means stop it should be stopped in the rule resolution process version 1 2 3 are there 3 is blocked meaning that i never want this rule to be in the transaction correct i i cannot delete everything now at the time of skimming is it okay if i filter blocked rule is it okay at the time of skimming if i filter out the blocked rule and take the previous version to skimmed version is it okay it is not okay so withdrawn rules plus blocked rules also should be carry forwarded during the skimming see here whenever we are going to skim the rules there are two types of skimming major skimming and minor skimming simply to tell you minor skimming means what is the rule set version i'll tell you see here 01 01 02 sorry 01 I'm sorry 01 like this i have till 01 01 0 Okay, I'll show you here itself. I should have versions written here already. <laughs> see, may see major skimming means when you skim two different versions, maybe some lower version to higher version, the next version that gets created will be incremented by major version number. major minor patch correct major version will be c 06050120609025 if i skim together everything the resultant version will be 07 two major versions you are skimming correct 07 and remaining two will start from 01 minor and patch will start from 01 similarly minor version skimming if two versions if you are skimming for minor part there will be options to choose major and minor then the next highest minor version will get created 06050120609025 if you skim for minor then the resultant version will be 06 what is the version 09 right so it will become one more 010 and patch will start always from 0 there is no patch skimming skimming can be done to create a new higher version either minor version will be incremented by one are major version to be incremented by one if you choose the option of skimming like minor skimming next minor version you'll get if you choose the option of major skimming next major version you'll be getting understand and now at the time of skimming major version skimming and minor version skimming you can see here if you're going to skim major version remember this withdrawn rules will not be carry forwarded we have already discussed withdrawn rules will not be carry forward but not available rules also will not be carry forward meaning that filter out so at the time of major skimming the yeah, not available rules usually sh should be filtered out right we already discussed withdrawn rules at the time of major version skimming should be filtered out and not available rules see always you can remember not available rules will be filtered out for sure at the time of skimming the rules which are not available will be filtered out this is very much clear everyone now any type of skimming but now in the minor skimming withdrawn will be carry forwarded
because you are going to skim minor version middle one right but in case of major skimming you are incrementing the major version you are incrementing major version at the time withdrawn rules will be i'm sorry this is not with respect to filter order sorry see here i'm getting confused see at the time of minor skimming only not available rules will be filtered out it is filtered out ka carry for filtered out only okay this is for filtering see minor version will be filtered out uh, sorry not available will be filtered out when you are doing minor skimming at the same time when you are doing major skimming not available will be filtered out as well as withdrawn also will be filtered out during major skimming withdrawn will be filtered out okay what is the reason withdrawn to be filtered out at the time of major skimming i already explained which will be filtered out previously but now so whatever we have discussed that is a little bit modified what is the modification here here even withdrawn also even withdrawn also being filtered out but in which case it is getting filtered out in case of major skimming what is the necessity to filter out withdrawn rule during major skimming why not during the minor skimming just take your time and think about it okay usually a withdrawn rule should be filtered out or should not be filtered out what we, what did we discuss it should not be that's what happening it is not getting filtered out in minor skimming but in the major skimming it is getting filtered out okay why it, it has to be filtered out during major skimming means major version when you are incrementing why don't you need to go ahead with withdrawn rules why you don't want withdrawn rule what is the reason just think about it you take your time you ask anyone who is working on pega and tell me okay so i'll tell you but for sure okay because you need to know about the subject i already clearly told you everything which will be filtered out which will be carry forward that depends on rule availability concept but there is simple violation that is during major skimming withdrawn rule should be filtered out just think about it take your time see overall skimming is the process of copying all the rules from lower versions to next higher version where skimming is of two types minor skimming and major skimming during during minor skimming minor version number will be incremented by 1 all lower version rules will be copied into next to minor version during major skimming major version will be incremented by one all below rule set versions will be copied into next higher version at the time of copying at the time of copying you can remember one thing at the time of skimming minor version or major version both it is always a fact that not available rules will be filtered out for sure not available rules will be if i say not available rules will be filtered out remaining all will be carry forward at the time of major or minor always not available rules will be filtered out now at the time of major skimming withdrawn rule also will be filtered out withdrawn rule also will be filtered out you don't need to remember entire table you remember this other than this everything will be carry forward that is the meaning okay any type of skimming not available will be filtered out during major skimming along with not available withdrawn also is been filtered out reasons you will be learning now coming to this one you just post in the comment section of this youtube video okay the answer for this post in the comment section of the youtube video meanwhile you research in the pdnr maybe you can ask someone who is working in pega okay now coming to this one i will remove the screenshots ticket related screenshots why those screenshots are been added in between i will add it at the end if i share this document you should have the skimming portion at one place and ticket at other place okay okay now this is what skimming i will show you practically how to skim the rules of course but after your skimming is been done you should have to make one more change in the application rule form i'll practically explain you why that is needed okay first let me explain you skimming how to do it by using major or minor by using the wizard okay so i am going to do it now before i skim 
I am going to make sure that all the rule set versions are been. You may lock or you may. Just, I don't know whether you leave it; it will work or not. Just let me let me cross verify once. Just let me make sure first. I will check in all the rules. Everything has been done. Now, skimming wizard navigation, skimming process navigation rule set refactor. That is what. Okay, here you go. I'll create a. You have a practical document, right? What is that? Skimming concept. So I'm teaching this after many years. Configure, refactor. Somewhere you see. Refactor rule sets. Refactor rule sets. You go here. Delete a rule set. Create a rule. I mean, like delete a rule set. Merge a rule set. Skim a rule set. See. Merging rule set, copying rule set, or skimming is completely different. Copying means from one version you will copy to another version. All rules maybe merge two versions to have everything. Maybe that's a different case completely. There also little bit of filtering. Skimming is different. So click on skim a rule set. I'm sorry, I'll give a screenshot for you. Click on skim a rule set. Let me click on that. Now it will open a wizard where you see. This is the document I have to use. I will close this theory document, and here you go. It is asking you: you want to go with major skimming, or you want to go with minor skimming? That's up to you. I want to go with major skimming. Then from major version one, okay. What is the, what will be the next version? Zero two, zero one, zero. New version will be. G, it is not accepting or what? Okay, otherwise minor skimming will go. Hold on. Zero one. Zero two, zero one. Is this the new major new new version or not? So it is editable. You can write anything there, but not um, major version. I am going with minor skimming. Means the resultant of these two next minor version is being incremented by one. So start skimming. Click on skim. Click on skim. Here you go. It will take time. Just wait because. It is something like copying, filtering, right? So the DDLs and all it will take time to generate. Wait for a minute. I know that hundred percent completed, right? So you can close this. Close now. You should have a uh, CNA auto. You should have a new version, right? Save done. Uh, so close and done. Okay. Now go to application rule form. Go to application rule form. Now I'll explain you the what is happening here. See, open this rule set. CNA auto rule set. So in a CNA auto rule set, you should be seeing that new version. What is the new version? Version zero one. See combination of all these rules being filtered out. Finally, you have how many rules? Two thirty three. We have zero one, zero two, zero one, which is skimmed version. Finally, skimmed version. If I all are unlocked, right? If I am going to create a new rule. Should this should this be shown up or not? So now let's try to create a rule. Here is the main point. Okay, so far what you have learned is one thing, and this is the next level. See, at the time of creation, is the skimmed version displayed here? We cannot see the unlocked. Again, it is unlocked, right? Unlocked version zero one zero two zero one. Why? 
what is the reason why we don't see it it is there in the same rule set and it is there in version 0102 unlocked and all it is not been shown up i'll tell you the reason now see here this is application rule form this application rule form in this application context if you are creating any rules it will show up the respective rule sets based on the class and all but you see here when we just mention the rule sets in the application rule form there are only two numbers being mentioned you are not mentioning three numbers this application can access all the rules and from this rule set which are from version 01010102010199 that is the meaning my patch version we will never specify in the application rule form meaning that it will access from 0101 i mean like patch 01 to patch 99 will be accessible means this application can access the rules which are there in the rule set version 01010129 but what about 0102 is it will it be able to access no i will write down that now just wait that's why your 02 is not been shown up. If I want 01020120102299 also want to accessible, then what should I do? I need to change here the next one to be 02. Now I'll ask you one question. Can CNA auto imagine CNA auto has next to major version 020101 is also there? Rules are there. Can this application access 020101 rules? Can it access? cannot access what is the reason you are pointing the application to access the rule set version 1 to 010299 can it access 0103 it cannot access understand that's the important so after skimming has been done one more modification you have to do where you need to do the modification in the application rule form okay let me write down the same look at the application rule form See the application rule form points to the rule sets plus versions, but here it was mentioned only major plus minor version like 0101. This means that the application can access. The rules of respect to rule sets and its versions starting from 01010102010199. But it cannot access next minor or major versions unless that is being that is being mentioned to point in the mentioned in the application rule form so in order for the new minor skimmed version 0102 01 to be accessible in this application context we should refer the same in the application rule form okay i'm going to do it now so open application rule form it is already open so here i'm going to do this i'm just going to do what this make changes save done now create a property any rule you can create not only property you can create any rule i am saving this after skimming is done you should update application rule form rule set references if you are trying to create now what is going to happen it is showing or not oh my god done completed okay so this is how uh, after skimming is been done you need to modify the application rule form you understand why application rule form shows only two numbers in the rule set version patch you don't need to mention 
you are not mentioning patch because it latches from 1 to 99 in patch okay that's it for today what was the other topic that i was addressing deployment of deployment and what is the other one report definition i did not even create requirement i'll create soon so today i must have to create the requirement for it. so report definition and deployment we have we will see tomorrow okay so these questions will not be generally asked in interviews but if they ask you questions on skimming, they will ask you what is skimming. They will ask you when we skim portions like major skimming and minor skimming, which one will be carry forwarded, which one will be filtered out. Only this type of questions will be asked. Okay. So any question online? Okay, we'll continue tomorrow. Thank you. I'll share you the document now.